Hey, what's up YouTube? This is E6 Process. We're going to do the uh, 2012 Topps Museum Collection one box break. And today is the April the 21st, 2012. The auction ended yesterday. I uh, just got the last payment a few minutes ago. So we're, we're about ready to go here. I'm going to show you the names here. Hopefully you can read that. Uh, and I'm going to go across. I, I didn't put the whole name of your screen name, so uh, just so you can kind of get the idea. But the Mariners and the Braves go to Pool. Pirates and Rockies go to Chop. The Mets, Marlins, Dodgers, and Giants are MKS. Uh, the Cubs go to Nation. Astros go to Dog. Angels, 618. Royals, Tison. Red Sox, Patrick. Yankees, Mick. Uh, Orioles and Tigers go to JSI. The uh, Brewers go to Thea, or T-H-E-A. Cardinals go to T-H-T. Uh, Phillies go to Kenny. Nats and the Rangers go to D-D. Indians go to Jake. Twins go to Wild Fun, or Wild Fan. And then the ones that didn't sell are the ones that I'm going to keep if I get any hits. And that's the Rays, the Blue Jays, the White Sox, the A's, the D-backs, and the Padres. And I didn't list the Reds because, hey, I'm a Reds fan and uh, I didn't want to sell them. So there you go. That's all the list of all the people. And I got my cute computer here in the background just in case we have to do a random for the uh, quad piece. Or I've seen some double pieces out there I think but here's the box still got the tops plastic seal on it and everything so uh, good luck everybody here we go I've seen some if you haven't had a chance to look at some other hits on eBay uh, or on eBay on YouTube there's some pretty awesome stuff in here so hopefully y'all get some good hits and what I'm going to do is post this after I shoot this, obviously. And then uh, I'm going to try and get everything packaged and ready to ship out on Monday. So that way you guys can have your stuff as soon as possible. There we go. Let me show you the empty box. You can see that. All right. And here's our four boxes, four mini boxes, and there's a hit in each box. So here we go, let's go. Good luck, everybody. And I'm gonna try and look into getting some Allen and Ginter when it uh, comes out. That stuff is always cool. So here's the pack, and here we go. So if you guys wanna favorite me on eBay, I will try and get some uh, Allen and Ginter going, get some box breaks going for that. All right. First off, we got a Joe DiMaggio green for the Yankees. That's numbered 51, 199. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's that. That's a pretty sweet looking card. Got a Jim Palmer base card for the Orioles. Kyle Ripken Jr. base card for the Orioles. And uh, this is a sketch card. It's an insert card for the Tigers. That's uh, Miguel Cabrera. It's not one of the hand ones, so it's not numbered or not signed by the artist. But that's a pretty cool looking card right there. It'd be neat to pull. Some of these are numbered to 10. They're actually drawn on the card, so they're pretty cool. And let's take a look at the hit here. What we got... We got a Mark Trumbo dual jersey autograph numbered 204 of 250. I don't know if you can see that or not. Pretty cool looking. So that's for the Anaheim Angels. Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, however you want to say it. That's a pretty neat looking card right there. Congratulations to the Angels. And let's see, let's get to the next box here. I've seen some pretty neat uh, metal cards, numbered to like 5 and 10. I've seen Stan Musial and I think even saw a Hank Aaron. And so there's some pretty neat stuff out there. This one feels kind of heavy, so maybe that might be one of those metal cards there. Uh, 
All right. And let's see, we've got a Steve Carlton for the Phillies, numbered 249 of 299. That's a pretty sweet looking card. I like the parallel inserts when they're numbered like that. I like trying to put together numbered sets. It's always kind of fun and challenging. Pretty nice looking card. And we've got a Ryan Zimmerman for the Washington Nationals. We've got A Rod for the Giant, a uh, Giants, uh, the Yankees, and Prince Fielder. He's pictured with Detroit, so that's going to go to Detroit. That's a pretty neat looking card. I like how they can Photoshop stuff and make them look like they're on the team they just got traded to. That looks pretty cool. And let's see what our hit is. It's a Colorado Rocky, and that's Todd Helton. That's the jumbo patch. Numbered 21 of 50. I don't know if you can see that numbering on there. It's kind of hard when they put it in a dark area to see that. But there you go. Nice big purple. Looks like a patch number. Looks like it might be a piece of a patch or something. I'm not sure. But that that's a pretty neat looking card. So there you go. Alright. Let me get my stacks separated here so I can go back over these here in a minute all right box number three and again i'm going to try and get everything packaged up and shipped out on monday and if your team didn't get any hits like it says in the auction i'll pull out a card from my personal collection and send that to you so at least get something for your for your auction here. Let's see what we got. Hey, that's J. Bruce Cincinnati Reds. That's numbered 117 to 299. It's a pretty nice looking card. I like me some J. Bruce. He's a good player. Reds just signed him. Or last year, I think, to a bigger contract. There's Carlton Fist with the White Sox. Here's uh, Julio Tehran for the Braves. Matt Holliday for the Cardinals. Base cards. And let's take a look at this hit here. Oh, this is the on card autograph. Ooh, look at that. Chicago Cubs. Starlin Castro autograph, numbered one of five. That's an on card autograph, numbered one of five. That is really sweet. Cubs fans, that's pretty exciting. And, wow. One of five, Starling Castro. That's really cool. So there you go. And there we go, the last box. Let's get, a, let's get a big name. Let's get a huge name here out of this one. That would be pretty exciting. I don't know if that's one of the best cards I've ever pulled in my pack purchasing career as a autograph one of five. Oh, I think I did pull a Griffey Jr. one of three once, but that was when they had 150 different cards numbered one of three. Anyway, all right, we got Ryan Braun for the Brewers numbered 31 to 299. Parallel insert card, that's pretty cool looking. And we got Carlos Santana for the Indians, base card. Mickey Mantle base card, that's pretty cool looking, Mick. That's a neat looking card. Jesus Montero for the Mariners. Oh, we got another numbered card here, it looks a blue. Ryan Zimmerman, numbered 30 of 99. You can see that. That's pretty cool. Alright, this should be the quad game used card. And it is Jesus Montero. Triple game or quad triple quad game used. Numbered 62 of 75. Looks like you got a piece of a jersey number and three swatches of the uniform with the pinstripe on it. 
numbered 62 of 75 that's really nice looking so here's what we do we're gonna go back over the hits congratulations to everybody that got a hit and if you didn't like I said I'm gonna be sending out uh, the one card you were guaranteed to get let's go over the numbered cards real quick there's Zimmerman for the Nationals numbered 30 of 99 Braun for the Brewers numbered 31 of 299 Bruce numbered 117 to 299 for the Reds. The Phillies, Steve Carlton numbered 249 of 299. Uh, Joe DiMaggio, really sweet looking card, numbered 51 of 199. That's a green, looks like. And then the sketch card of Miguel, Miguel Cabrera for the Tigers. And it's not numbered or signed anything, so that's just one of the regular inserts there. And then let's take a look at the hits that we got. Save the best one for last, I think. For the Yankees, Jesus Montero, quad game used, numbered 62 of 75. The Todd Helton Jumbo Patch, numbered 21 of 50 cool looking the mark trumbo dual game used autograph number 204 of 250 for the angels and the best of the box and the coolest card i think is the uh, starling castro on card autograph number one of five so again congratulations everybody and i'll be packaging these up and shipping them out here soon and Check back, favorite me on uh, E6 Process on eBay. Uh, I'll be trying to do some Allen and Ginter when they come back. So thanks, have a blessed day. Bye, everybody.